I haven't seen any good tutorials on YouTube on how to use microtonality in FL Studio, so I decided to make my own. First, you need to generate your scale. I use Savish's Scale Workshop. It's savish.com slash scale workshop. The link is also in the description. So here you can type in your own ratios or you can also choose presets from here. Um, I'll pick the pentatonic one for now. And you can play these with your keyboard to see what they sound like. So FL Studio has two main synths that support microtonality. These are Harmer and Citrus. So I'll download these. You go to the export menu and then you download them here. And make sure to keep track of which is which because it matters. Harmer. Citrus. And Ogun also supports microtonality, but I haven't found out how to generate the FNV file for it. And you can see there's also contact here and a whole bunch of other stuff, but I don't own those, so we're just going to do Harmer and Citrus today. So now in FL Studio, we're going to start with Harmer because it's the easier one. So you click on it. And if you're going to use a preset, make sure to click this before you do the pitch information, because every time you choose a new preset, it'll reset it. Um, but let's just do the default for now. So what you're going to do is go to the envelope section here, and where it says volume here, you're going to go to pitch, and then this will be keyboard mapping. Make sure that's selected. And there's a little triangle down here. Click it, and then click open state file. And then so make sure to choose the one that says harmer. Just like that. Now for citrus, it's a little bit more complicated. It's kind of the same idea, but it takes a little longer. So for presets, let's just choose Rhodes. So there's your 12 EDO. So the thing about this is you have to do it for every operator that you're using. So we're using one through five in this preset. But it's kind of the same process. So pitch, key modifier, then the little triangle, open state file, and then choose the one that says citrus. And you'll do this for every operator. And what's also very important is that there's this PE knob, which stands for pitch envelope. You're going to have to turn it up all the way or else it won't modify the pitch all the way. So make sure to do that on all the operators. There you go.